Hi friends, Man with Into Mobile. As you can see, we're at South by Southwest 2012. We're in the Samsung Vlogger Lounge, and the folks from Rovio are here, and this is Maria, Hi. and she's going to show us Angry Bird Space. Yeah, totally. Uh, I'll show you the episode menu because this is I think what is really really interesting and what really makes the space as well. So you have the episode menu, different uh, different planets there, and there's also the ISS. So I think that's the cool thing that we've integrated the ISS and NASA. And when you click on that, you get to this special website that NASA guys have been building on, on microgravity. So it's the real real mathematics physics behind the game. Mm. So we've been working very closely with them to create this really fun and also kind of realistic in, to some extent. So I'll show you just the easiest level, right? We'll start yeah, with that. Get your shirt already. So what, size? We have what happens when the angry birds are in space? Well, they're using the gravity trajectories around the, uh, the planets to go to the right direction. I'll show you first how you don't want to play it, right? So in, in space, because there is no gravity, you just keep on going. But you could also use the gravity to really do something a bit more constructive or deconstructive in this case. Interesting. There you go, and, and you see even the blocks start going around in the gravity well. Let's try something a bit more challenging. I like this one. So here we have two different planets, and you have to go between through those. No, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, cool. Small eye. So it just keeps on going until it hits something. You have to check out the video from ISS uh -huh. where, where the astronaut is showing this for real. So he, he takes an Angry Bird toy he has it at the ISS and he throws it one direct line and it just keeps on going. And then he talks about the gravity wells and how you, how even NASA has understood those to calculate all the rockets and, and shuttles that they are launching to, to make it to the right place. Let's see, try something a bit more challenging. This is way too hard, so I'm like completely horrible on this level, but let's see. So here we have the bomb bird wearing his superhero costume, and here we have the pigs, and they're underneath the gravity. So I need to use these stones that are floating around in microgravity to get them to hit the gravity one. That didn't go too well, let's try something like this. So it's a bit trickier than before, but it's still really simple. Like you just have to practice a bit to get to the right, right performance. It's new levels of complexity, but still the same Angry Birds style. Exactly. Great. And then there's some new characters. Here's Laser Bird. So you might recognize him fast goes nicely but also there's a bit more control around him now so I can tell him where to go I might want to Great. Yeah. and then there's the uh, more of an icy planet let's try this one won't be an easy one I think here we have an ice cube bird that creates, or it, it makes anything into ice, so whatever it hits. And then you can use the, the usual triple three, triple bird to destroy the ice. Cool. Yeah. yeah. You want to go give it a try? Uh, yeah, I will later. So um, when's the release date and where can we find out more? Yeah, 22nd March. We're going live with everything. It will be available iOS, Android, PC, Mac on the same day. What's really cool is that also the physical products are coming on sale on the same day, so it will be nationally available with plush toys and apparels, all Angry Birds space. We're working with National Geographic on a book as well, so we have an Angry Birds space reference book, really, really serious space stuff, but easy to digest through the uh, Angry Birds characters. Okay. Great, thanks for your time. My